Well, I followed um, something that uh, Magnus Carlsen did against me in Nanjing, which is just to play um, uh, in what looks like a symmetrical position and, and looks pretty harmless. But uh, I found it slightly unpleasant to play, and I thought uh, that might be worth something. Um, so here the idea is uh, that black's knight is slightly misplaced. It looks fine, but uh, after white goes knight e4 and c3, there's a slight uh, shortage of squares there, uh, which is what he tries to remedy right away. I'm not even sure g3 is necessary because uh, he doesn't, um, the knight probably is, is, wants to go back anyway. Right. So, so you're still out of theory at this point. This is just. Uh, um, I, I'm, I, I'm sure it's been played, but it's not highly relevant. Sure, sure. Uh, I don't think there's one way to play or something like that in this position. And then uh, here, I went a4, he went knight e5. I think I could have gone a5. So, which means you could probably play a5 or move earlier. I don't know. Um, and you chose not to because. Well, I wanted to play rook a3, and I thought if he didn't play a from the last move, he won't do it next move. And of course, immediately. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I thought I'll get one more move in before playing a5, which is silly because I I didn't I didn't like a5, and the reason is um, I thought if I go f4, knight d7, knight e4, then I think he does this right away. Yeah. Okay. And that's precisely why um, if I had played a5, then I'd have b4 here. Okay. But in this, what, what White is trying to achieve for maximum effect is to play rook a e3, some f4, and then knight e4, kick the bishop back, and then b3, bishop b2. Right. If I can get that, it works out. But now we see that there's some small problems. If I go rook a e3, he has f5. Sure. And now I don't get rook a e3. So, I remember uh, after f4, did either of you consider bishop g4? And what was the, what were you planning there? Bishop, bishop e2, I, I thought, was excellent okay. for me. Bishop e2 is just fine for you. you I mean, I thought for the bishops that, uh, I mean, bishop e2, rook e2, and then when he moves this knight, I can go rook f3. Or you, there I can even play g4. I'll just show you that. Okay. I thought you might play. You can also play queen d4 or queen d2 here. Yeah, I mean, I, I did notice that, but I thought um, there was no reason for me to avoid uh, a light, uh, light-colored bishop swap. I mean, even something like g4 oh, okay. now or in one or two moves later, and knight g3, for instance. All right. And, so some uh, sort of light square pressure. Yeah, I mean, it's unpleasant. Uh, I'm yeah. sure we're not trying to prove something I mathematically, but it's unpleasant, I thought. Yeah. If I, and knight g4 is important, because if he goes knight d7, rook a3 is significant for white. Right, okay. But yeah. this is exactly the move which I... But I didn't see how to get around it. I thought you might yeah. play the bishop... When you picked up the bishop, I thought you were going to put it on h3, actually. That was... When you picked up the bishop, because I'm very visual, like, <laughs> halfway through the air. Ah, this bishop I, I didn't really consider this. Yeah. It's a little bit strange. I, I thought... Um, bishop h3. And of f5? f5, I was looking at this. Fox huh. takes rook e3. Uh, bishop f5? Bishop f5, I thought maybe you play knight c5 here. Well, takes yeah, but my king, look, my king. Yeah, Light squares. You're in, yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> really? Unless you've got feeling that your king's too exposed here. Ah, I do have rook f6. That's well, you have rook f7 thing. as well. I know, but you're saying take and put a rook on e5 and then b3. I don't know. It, could it, be. Just, it looked quite sharp, at least. I wasn't but, I mean, you can also start... With, I know, then you have knight g5. Yeah. Yeah, so, just show us that, because I think... Uh, Wait, let me, then let me do this. Okay, I have to waste a move, but it's maybe yeah. not the end of the world. And now... Right. And then bishop f5 makes move. <coughs> yeah, this is, seems to be... Oh, uh, no, it's, it's certainly worth considering. I, I simply hadn't noticed it. Well, I wasn't sure. I was thinking. About also, I'm not sure that I really want to uh, take this <laughs> pawn on uh, b7. I know, so I probably want to go e6 anyway. Yeah. And then, but you can do this now. And right, then play okay. bishop f6. But then the bishop comes to comes. You play b3. Ah, then you can also go bishop d2 presumably, and yeah, bishop, bishop c3. More accurate, yeah. So. Yeah, maybe uh, bishop h3 is very... Um, I didn't really consider it. I, what I was aiming for, again, was this uh, plan that um, um, if c6, then I wanted to have rook b3. Okay. Uh, and suddenly, uh, black has loosened his pawns. Yeah. So it, it's just that teeny bit... Uh, h6 I didn't like, but maybe I can't really exploit it. I thought he. I, mean, was, I, I thought it, he could just go bishop d7. H6 wasn't the anything. first the first move that everybody thought of. Uh, <coughs> what were you thinking when you played h6? What was the idea behind it? Well, I wanted to play knight f6 
in some position, and I was a bit worried about knight g5 happening. So uh, yeah. if, I, if I play, uh, if I play something like um, knight f6, then knight g5 perhaps. And I, I can still play h6 here actually, mm. possibly. But I mean, uh, I looked at some line like this takes takes queen h5 and that's just uh -huh. <laughs> so it's just something something like that I, I didn't want to happen and um, and I thought I could spend this tempo to play h6 quite safely yeah. okay um, and c4 which again it wasn't everyone's choice is it obviously the right move to you no it's clearly a concession but my I didn't see how to disentangle simply um, I, ideally I would not play c4 so maybe c4 is just a mistake um, but I did think that if he went for this plan with knight c5 that I would have a little something. Maybe rook d3 or something, but it looks awkward. Uh, or then he will uh, maybe play knight f6, I move my knight, and then some bishop f5, kicking it. Even something simple like h3, knight f6, knight f2, how is that? Uh -huh. um, I thought his idea would actually be to do, do, to do this. Right. And your rook's kind of tied down, I suppose. But you can play rook e3 and maybe b3 or something. Well, uh, uh, rookie three, pair. rookie eight, uh, b three, yeah, one pair. But also some c six is coming now. But is that and it's loosening a bit? Loosening for white or, I mean. <laughs> well, if if we if he plays knight takes d five, then there's a bishop c six yeah. later, and I mean this is obviously getting into trouble. Okay. Or I mean trouble is too strong, least. but um, uh, some counterplay at least. Yes. Okay. But even here, like queen d four or bishop b two, is isn't white somehow in control? Hang on. Uh, so something like this. No, whenever you play bishop b2, I'll always be able to move the knight and play bishop f6. Okay. Uh, I might, I might, just delay the capture. I might swap the rooks first, and then I have the option of playing. Mm -hmm. you know, just keeping the keeping attention a couple of minutes. Later. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm sure if white plays very precisely, there might be a little something. But then again, black can play very precisely and neutralize sure. it. I don't think it's a huge. Uh, but it's more fun than the brother ending, or what? <laughs> It's not, uh, it's not a huge uh, story there either. Right. Uh, I mean, in the Berlin, you will never win a game because of novelty. So, um, this I thought completely clamped on the queen side, but then I could do something with on the e file. Right. But I'll tell you the problem. Um, so bishop f3 again. It's slight, a slightly mysterious move for a lot of people, I guess. Well, I wanted to go king g2. Just to tidy up, basically. Yeah, and the problem is. Uh, G4, bishop h4 is incredibly awkward. I mean, it really sort of messes my uh, rook up. Um, the so one rook. But also so I could go b3, for instance, and bishop d7, but I, I don't see it as a huge improvement. No, but the whole point is anyway uh, that black will run out of moves before white. Okay. So uh, he has to do this in order to play rook e8. Actually, sure. I thought about playing rook e8 straight away. Yeah, but then um, we get an Averbach uh, King's Indian. Yeah. And Averbach Kings in. Oh, I see. Uh huh. Uh, uh, so this is the question of whether it's a uh, positional. Yeah, I thought it was. I mean, you can put the pawn on. You can put the extra black pawn on c5. And what white does? And when I have the bishop on g4, it's even stronger. I go bishop f5, bishop c2. Okay. But and I now do this. Bishop d1, king g2, bishop d2. You have no entry squares whatsoever. Yeah. And then I play on the king. You know the Averbach I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. This end game where black will have a bishop and knight against two bishops. And and yeah, yeah, and white just Maybe you could enlighten me on that one. Um. <laughs> oh. Well, basically, the point is uh, something like this. It looks like uh, black's got an extremely solid fortress, but it's quite unpleasant to play against these kingside pawns. Mm -hmm. Something mm -hmm. like king g2, g4, g5, mm -hmm. and black will always have to make some unpleasant decisions. But it's very unpleasant to play it uh, over the board, I think. Just to clarify, in the Averbuck ending, the black pawn is on c5, right, usually? Yes. And well, here but it's an extra a pawn. I don't think you should complain too much. No? Sure, so, but it's a fixed, uh, it's a fixed queen side structure. Yeah. And you're saying that the bishops keep the queen out, and you gradually advance on the king side, and there's not well, much black can do. Here as well, I didn't see. I mean, for instance, uh, king g2, and then something like bishop d1, and threatening queen f5. Right. And then bishop c, uh, king f3, and then bishop sure. c2. Black has no entry squares whatsoever. Sure. So eventually, I'll get my bishop to c2, a queen to f3, right. and start pushing on the king side. I, um, sure. Well, this is one of the things I was hoping for, but... Um, okay, let's move on a little bit, because... Precise. And um, 